In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this Steadicam mount. It uses a lot of the ball bearings from my ball bearing video. So if you haven't checked that out yet, you better check that out. And it works pretty nicely. So uh, let's get started, shall we? All right, for the Steadicam project, we've got our bearing piece we made in the other video. I've marked it there where I need to cut this pipe down to. I've got 12 of these rings, and I'm going to make 10 more of these other rings. I've got two 1 inch 90 degree angle pieces. I've got some PVC pipe over here. And I'll go ahead and cut that piece down and assemble my second bearing. Alright, I've gone ahead and glued on these two retaining rings. And very important, go ahead and set this ring on there before you do anything else. And I went ahead, put that ring inside there. I'm going to put those together, fill that space with Airsoft BBs. Then I'll push this ring in there and glue it together and I'll have two sets of bearings. All right, I've got the second bearing put together the same as I did the first. As you see it, they both work really nicely. I'm going to get to the next bearing and so on and so forth. As you can see, I've already pressed this ring in to the 90 degree coupler, and I made this piece of PVC pipe. It's got space for two bearings to go on. It's going to be a connector between this 90 degree and this 90 degree. So it'll sit like that when it's set up. But I'm going to go ahead and piece together this bearing right now. Well, this one's made up, and it's time to work on this one that joins the 290s. Important step. Very, very important. Again, make sure you put on your locking ring before you set the bearing up, or you'll be ripping that thing apart. So the next bearing that's going to be right here is going to hold the handle, so I need about a six seven eight inch piece of half inch pipe I'll get the end of it set up and then I'll make that bearing up well, I've got the end of this pipe glued together it's all set up and I've made sure very important wipe off any excess glue because those will gum up the ball bearings next up I'm gonna make this bearing up and then this part of the handle part will be done and I'll be ready to work on the shaft. Well, here it is with the handle installed and as you see it is very fluid and I've gone ahead and I've put both locking rings on the inside of this because I'm going to put a bearing on each side to hold the boom more steady. It's very important that I line up where the bearings are going to be on the half inch Boom. So I'm going to measure the distance from here to here. And on my long piece of half inch pipe, I'm going to put marks there. And I'm going to go ahead and glue on two rings for that. So I can build one bearing at a time without having to take anything apart. Well, using the calipers, it was 55.36 millimeters. And I'll go ahead and mark that on the long piece of half inch pipe. Well, as you see, I have the two inner rings and they're glued on at that 55.3 millimeter distance apart from here to there. And I also went ahead and put one ring on, one outer ring on. Make sure to leave this one off. I went ahead and put that one on because it's got a belt in for the bottom and you're going to need that one anyway 
So go ahead and get your three put on. Leave that one off for now. We'll work with that later. It'll be easy. But you won't be able to glue this one on when it's threaded through making up that, those bearings. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and make up this one bearing. Well, as you can see, this bearing's done, and that's working pretty well. I just need to put down a layer of ball bearings up there. Then I'll put on both the locking rings and use glue very, very sparingly. I don't want to gum up those ball bearings with too much glue. Well, here's a good view of the ball bearings before I put the locking rings on. This is how they look in pretty much all of these bearings I've made. And it works really smoothly. And I've not lubricated them yet at all. So now I'm going to go ahead and get on the locking rings. Well, here it is. All the bearings are done. I'm going to put an uh, end cap on here with the screw on it. And I'm going to make a weighted piece that slides in there to make sure that when you're holding it up, it'll sit upright. So to make the base plate that'll hold the weights, I've got a angle piece of aluminum. I've drilled three holes in it and a base piece of PVC pipe here that'll go on that. And I've got some bolts over here. I'm going to put a bolt through this, through the middle hole, put a wing nut on that. I'm going to put one bolt through each of these holes going up. I'll put some weights in there. Then I'll put the secure it all with the wing nuts on each of those. So I'll go ahead and get started assembling. So I've got the cap and the bolt and the wing nut tightened down. Next, I'm going to glue that together. And then instead of using these for stand ins, I'm just going to use these bolts and toggles because they'll be a lot longer and they'll be able to hold more weights. Well, here's the base plate. I actually took a couple aluminum biscuits I've made in the past. I drilled holes through them, and I've secured those down using these toggles. That'll hold it for a while. And this is glued together. It's ready to be assembled. Well, there it is. I've got all that working. I've got the weights on. I've glued this piece, I drilled a hole and put a bolt through there for mounting the camera mount and uh, everything's very fluid, it's very nice. I think that's a win. I'll see you next time, maybe on the go. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and don't forget if you forgot how to make the bearings to check out my other video where I showed how to make the bearings because this uses a lot of them. See you next time.